since my last vid, um, I've done some changes to the Jeep. I put on the Shapeways roll bar. Don't get it, it'll break. Put some stickers on it, those are pretty cool. Got the metal fenders and they add that real nice touch of realism um, as you're scraping along. I am beating the ever-loving heck out of this shell, which is a lot of fun, that's the point of it. Um, but uh, really the reason why I'm making this video is someone requested a uh, more detailed close-up of the uh, front suspension of the R1 portal axles with the uh, pad hard bar. So that's kind of what you saw before. Let me go ahead and take a shell off. So, just a few things in case people are curious. This is a uh, hammer transfer case from RC4WD with the uh, link, lower link mount, uh, um, transfer case mount, I guess is what it's called. Uh, and then, of course, I'm laying down the shocks, droop style setup, uh, setup so that I can maximize articulation. Um, uh, heavily uh, gear reduced transmission, I think it's like 16 to 1 on an actual rebuildable 55 turn motor. Um, so really, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but let me bring it up, is there's the uh, pad hard bar, and no, I've actually bent it so that actually sits perfectly on the uh, diff housing. Um, but again, it needs to be parallel to the um, drag link or the steering link. And even though the bend's there, you can see that the two endpoints of the pan hard and the steering link are almost parallel and they move almost parallel and that's really important and this allows again the articulation of the uh, suspension to kind of hard to do it with one hand guys but let me see if I can actually get it to articulate so there you see it tuck up then on this side when it goes this way, you see it drop down. So that, that's basically how it works. Um, I actually was planning on making this uh, rig a four-wheel steer, so I actually have the rear suspension set up with a three-link and a pan hard as well, um, because then I could just add the servo and the steering components. So you can basically see it's the same cheap axial uh, pen hard bar kit from eBay and it basically just you can use a little piece of angle aluminum to be honest with you from Home Depot and then uh, the bar goes here and then I shim this up and then just get a bar to length and again when you look down at it you just want to make sure that it's pretty even and that's how you kind of gauge whether it's um, going to be equal in the front and equal in the back or not. So again, if you have any questions, let me know, guys, and hopefully that explains how this truck works. Thanks. Hit that subscribe button.